friends in this video I am going to show two cases of hard nucleus management this is the first case nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 5 capsulorexis is being done after the incisions in hard cataracts we must do a large rexis of about 6 millimeter 5.75 millimeter to 6.25 millimeter is the ideal size because nucleus management becomes very easy if we do a large rexus. Stress on the genule becomes less, fluid buildup doesn't occur, and now after rexus, a nice hydro dissection is done and then the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed with bevel down. Now the handpiece is turned, bevel is made up towards the cornea. And in this case I am going to show submarine jaw the exposed part of the FECO needle, the tip of the FECO needle is buried completely into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus like a submarine moves through water head. It is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus, crosses the central part, goes for some more distance and as it reaches near the opposite equator, it is chopped like this and now the tip is buried into on heminucleus and it is chopped in this way now along the first crack the two pieces are separated and now we come to the other heminucleus it is chopped into two large fragments now each large triangular fragments are tilted and emulsification of these large fragments are started from its apex and sometimes it is subdivided into smaller pieces but most of the time the chunk remains at the tip and it doesn't go here and there this technique is very good for the cornea because we deliver the ultrasonic energy within the substance of the nucleus and not in the anterior chamber. Now this is the third nuclear fragment. It is emulsified. Let me tell you the parameters. Ultrasonic energy used is 85% fluoride is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is Faro's from Oatly but the surgery can be done with Oatly AC or Oatly Catrex 3 in the same way and now we're going to see another case so this is the second case the hardness of the nucleus is almost same grade 5 or grade 5 plus nuclear sclerosis capsulorexis is being done after incision and staining the anterior capsule a nice capsular tag is raised by the needle and now I use the uterata forceps hold this capsular tag and do a large rexus. Though the cataract is brown and hard because of omni glow we are getting good red glow. And now hydro dissection. Small amounts of BSS is passed at multiple points 
this is one point and this is another point the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is another hydro at this point some more balloting and and now the nucleus will uh, rotate nicely but I am going to use two instruments to rotate the nucleus can call this bimanual rotation of the nucleus because with this technique stress on the junule is almost nil but if we just push the nucleus with one instrument there is some junular stress and now the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber with its bevel towards the nuclear mass here it goes and now some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now the handpiece is turned bevel is made up towards the cornea and now the tip is buried completely into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision it goes towards the opposite equator it crosses the center and when it is near the opposite equator it is chopped and this is a nice crack and this is another chop on this seminucleus and now I am trying to separate the two heminuclei let's see what has happened the pieces are not free they are joined to each other by leathery bands so how to manage now I attempted again to separate this pieces sculpt it some more to make the posterior plate thin but I could not now this is the technique which I usually follow in such cases take two instruments get one fragment I just go through this cleft and I just break this leathery band and make one fragment free from the main mass and now I introduce the handpiece again bevel down my plan is to remove this free nuclear fragment first FICO power being used is 85 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and now see how to separate these three pieces I just tilt it get on to the leathery band and apply little ultrasonic energy onto it and the pieces become separate yes very simple just tilt the main mass and apply little ultrasonic energy at the leathery band joining the fragments and the leathery band will be emulsified and the pieces will get free now in this case I noticed that the posterior capsule is tending to come forward it is tending to come near the phaco tip so my plan is to use a thick instrument which can protect the posterior capsule better than the chopper 
and it has curvature which conforms to the curvature of the posterior capsule. We get a lot of room above it and this thick instrument protects the posterior capsule much better. It is blunt in on all sides and thus with full protection the last piece is emulsified. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will be helpful in your practice.